Hi, and welcome to this Navigate Rebar Discovery session number two. In this session, we'll look at two new tools that we've added to Navigate Rebar. In this iteration, we've added Trim to Opening and also Opening Reinforcement. So let's get right in and look at the first tool, which will be Trim to Opening. So the situation here is you can see that I've got four layers of reinforcement bar in this floor slab, and then afterwards I've had to introduce a structural opening. Now, of course, native Revit will not trim that reinforcement bar around the opening. So what we're going to now do is use our new tool, Trim to Opening. So I'll start by opening up the level zero slab rebar plane. And here I'll begin by showing the obscured reinforcement bar. You can now see that we have all of the rebar. And as I've said, we've got this reinforcement bar that's going directly over the opening. So we'll go ahead and select Trim to Opening. We can then select our opening. And you'll see that Navigate Rebar then trims all of that reinforcement bar to that opening. Once again, we'll show the obscured reinforcement bar. And this time, what we might want to now do is actually add some reinforcement to that opening itself. So in this case here, I'm going to go ahead and tile the view. And in our 3D view, we'll also show the obscured reinforcement bar. And we'll now add reinforcement to this structural opening. So again, on our Navigate Rebar ribbon, we'll go ahead and select the Opening tool. We'll select the opening itself, and we can now see the Opening Reinforcement dialog presented. Now, as we saw in Discovery Session 1, this has all of the same framework employed with this Opening Reinforcement command. So, of course, we'll now see that we can actually have different configurations for each of the four sides of our structural opening. We can have construction bars. In this case, I'm going to use U bars, but once again, we can select a shape code from our template. We've also got the bar types that we can go ahead and select from our uh, template as well. We can then go ahead and set the distributions up that we may want. The main bars in our model with anchorage. So you can see in this case, I'm using 50 times diameter. And we've called here for two reinforcement bars at a spacing of 200. And here as an option, we can incorporate diagonal bars and in this case, I'm opting to go for H10s, and I've gone for a 40 times diameter anchorage. And once again, we have two diagonal bars, in this case, with a spacing of 150. If we take a look at the opening sides here, if I click on side four, you can see that we have a CA value of zero and of side two here. And if I go to side one and side three, you'll see that I have a 14 millimeter offset. So this will ensure that the reinforcement correctly coincides with our reinforcement layers that we've already placed into our walls or floors. So in this case here, I'm gonna go ahead and select apply. The reinforcement bar has now been successfully added, but once again, we can go to our Navigate Rebar tab and we can show obscured reinforcement in both the plan view and also this 3D view here. And you can now see our opening reinforcement is actually created and presented in both of our views, the plan view here, and of course, the 3D view. The power of our Navigate Rebar tools is their flexibility. So the opening reinforcement can be applied to any of these structural openings we can see here. So we can have an opening by face, a shaft opening, a wall opening, or a vertical opening, and we can apply our opening reinforcement to any of those openings. Once again, the name settings are actually saved and stored into each of the elements we select. Let's now take a look at some reinforcement in a structural wall. I'll go ahead and open up a section that's elevating one of our walls here. In this example, you can see that we have a wall and here I have a window opening and also a door opening. Once again, we can use our opening reinforcement to actually create reinforcement around these openings. So I'm gonna begin with the window opening and here on the context ribbon in the Navigate panel, you can see that I've got our opening reinforcement command. Once again, I'll use my settings here just to apply that reinforcement into that opening. I'll also do the same with the door opening. So we'll select the door and again, in exactly the same command, I'll apply that opening reinforcement to our door. You can see that our opening reinforcement tool is clever enough not to put reinforcement where it's not needed. We'll now take a look at that in the 3D view. And here, we'll just get rid of the other views that we don't necessarily want. We'll close down our opening reinforcement dialog box. And again, on our Navigate Rebar ribbon, we'll show obscured reinforcement. And of course, we can now clearly see all of that reinforcement bar that we've added to this actual door opening here and the window opening. 
So, in this discovery session, we've just investigated two brand new tools that we've added to this iteration of Naviate Rebar. I look forward to seeing you in discovery session three.